My name is Majegs, and I highlight good games for busy people. In this video, I'm highlighting Citizen Sleeper, a dice-based space station survival RPG, kind of like Dungeons & Dragons, but without worrying about the theater of mind. Citizen Sleeper is a narratively focused single player game where you'll take on the role of a machine whose central processing unit is a copy and pasted brain. Sometime long ago, a person sold the rights to their consciousness to a corporation. That corporation then ripped the brain.txt files out of their head and loaded them onto a robot in an effort to skirt around AI loopholes. The end result is a human-like machine called a sleeper that can be legally used for indentured servitude. How about that? In particular, your sleeper has escaped servitude and stowed away on a freight vessel, landing squarely on an almost derelict space station. Finally escaping your shackles of servitude, you'll set out to carve your own slice of life with nothing but a dream and the ram you have packed on board. Ever since dice were created somewhere in the ballpark of 2,000 years ago, according to one single Google search I did, humans have been figuring out ways to use them to pass the time. And 2,000 years from now, people will still be kickstarting board games with unique dice configurations. But Citizen Sleeper said, nah, to the board, but yeah, to the dice, and as a result you have a game that uses familiar mechanics in a creative way. Every day, you'll assign six dice to various activities that will help you make money, collect resources, or progress various story elements. Run out of dice, then you just gotta end the day and start the next one. It's a simple to play gameplay loop that ensures you'll never forget just how the game works while still providing enough depth and strategy to keep you engaged. It's got some mechanical complexity, but not enough to wear you out. Plus, the cyclic nature means that you'll always be just a few die casts away from a natural breaking point. And while the gameplay is fresh, the real draw of Citizen Sleeper is in its web of compelling narratives and characters. Instead of exploring a grand epic quest a la Mass Effect, you'll follow the journeys of various denizens of the space station. Their plights become your plights as they struggle to escape, realize their dreams, or simply land on their feet. You'll be able to help or hinder them, depending on exactly how you're feeling, all the while delving more and more into their motivations, goals, and personal story. In the ever-expanding gig world that we live in, Citizen Sleeper seeks to capture the unstable equilibrium of making, saving, and spending money, all while trying to work towards your own personal goals. Each side character is unique and deep, and their tales will have you captivated throughout your experience with the game. You'll help a loving father try to secure passage off the station for himself and his daughter, or maybe you'll be gathering mushrooms and spinning tails with a street food vendor. Or you could help the local bar owner open her own distillery. The characters and stories play out in sort of an episodic format, so you can hop on and follow the path of just a single character for a while before signing back off. In that sense, you'll always be accumulating little slices of life that make you feel like a part of the station's community by the end of the game. I had Citizen Sleeper on my periphery, but I didn't engage with it until a friend really pushed me into it. And I'm glad he did, because I enjoyed my time with it. The way it forces players to pursue overall goals instead of listing concrete mission steps is a really interesting style that keeps away the go here, do this mentality. For example, one of the primary objectives is simply survive. And that doesn't mean eat five meals or get shelter, it means you, the player, have to figure out how to survive. As a busy person myself, I have to admit that this game ate up a lot more time than I intended it to because I just got caught up in it. But if I would have had a little bit more self-restraint, I could have played in bite-sized sessions because the game is built around the six dice cycle. And I think if you're looking for a nice, story-driven, streamlined tabletop RPG style game, then Citizen Sleeper is right up your alley. All in all, I'm giving Citizen Sleeper five ripper worms out of five ripper worms. Highly recommended.